ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is the second part of this week's Tavern Brawl, an evil exchange. Uh, the first part just happened to be Kel'Thuzad, so if you haven't watched that, there's a link on the bottom of your screen now. Check out part one before coming to part two. This part two is going to be games with Rafam, so let's see if we get Rafam. We do. Excellent. Now, I have to be honest here. So far, I have to say, oh, I, I like all these cards. I'm going to mulligan because I really want this. Um, so far, my two games as Kel'Thuzad have been really OP. Rafam has gotten destroyed every single time. I feel like I need to get lucky and upgrade my staff as quickly as possible. So there's the uncover. Oh, okay, so you do draw that immediately. So add another piece to your hero power. I can do that on turn two, potentially, and that becomes useful. It becomes like an unstable portal. Hello, but uh, Kel'Thuzad's board just floods so, so much. And don't be fooled by the haunted creepers as well. They're really dangerous. Uh, because later on, when you get the tokens in, I am indeed going to use this. This is how important I think it probably is to get... Uh, to get up to Legendary as quickly as possible. Hopefully I pick up the next piece on the next turn. I don't know if that's how it works. Or if it makes you pick it up on turn 4 because it expects you to use it on turn 3. I don't know. That secret, I don't know if it's Counterspell. But I... Do I do that to... Uh... No. Let's see if it's Counterspell. No. No, let's not. Let's really not, because we might as well get a couple more minions out. Okay, Stranglethorn Tiger for three is not bad. <clears throat> Basically, the same turn he plays all his good minions, I have to be able to... Uh... Now, I can't play Shadow Word Pain here, because if I do, his hero power immediately brings it back. So this is the part where it gets a little bit tricky. So I think I play the Slithering Archer. To the Is it counter spell? Nope. That's okay. Now I'm going to start taking out these 1-1s, one and these spectral spiders are going to make his uh, hero power less useful. Okay, so he's got more haunted creepers. But when he plays Noth, I need to kill Noth. I need to kill Noth very quickly. It's all about killing Noth. So I might actually be saving some of my shadow words for Noth himself. That's really important right now. Um... This is really annoying. I still don't have, uh... Ooh. Onyxia is fun, I guess, for seven. No one's ever going to complain. Don't know what that secret is. It could be duplicate. Let's hope it's duplicate. It's not duplicate, which means it's probably counter spell. Um. Ooh, silence could be useful, actually. Your magic Let's shall silence my ex now. And play the other slivering archer. So that gives him two more spectral spiders uh, from his hero power. That makes it a little bit more tricky. I'm going to keep my destroy minions for a little bit. I can play Onyxia next turn. <clears throat> but I know how powerful his board can be. So this is by no means comfortable. There's Noth. We knew about Noth. We need to get rid of the Shadow Word Pain. That's probably Counterspell. That's probably Counterspell. I need to get rid of Noth. I have to play that, I think. I can go three, and then that's free. Let's see if it's Counterspell. It's not Counterspell. Which means it might be Duplicate. If it's Duplicate, then I should kill the Skeleton. Um, 
my axe number's on the board before these skeletons, which means I should hit that first. It's not duplicate. Now we kill that. We play Lothar's left grieve. And we hear a power. God, that was tricky. I think that was the right play. I think that was the right play. And then I have the option of Onyxia. So that means that's probably Vaporize? And trigger their battle cries. Death Rattle Summon a Spectral Gothic for your opponent. Oh, that's useful. I can't not play that. Let's get rid of this first. A Spectral Gothic at the start of your turn two. Wait, that's not good. That's really not good. What did I do that for? So that's what it is. Right, let's get some legendaries in here. All minions have a 50% chance of attacking the wrong enemy. Destroy... Do I destroy Gluth? Or do I destroy my own guy? Let's play Moga the Ogre, because that way one of these guys might kill off my Spectral Gothic. And if I have a way to buff the Gothic, then I can use that to tag Vaporize, if that's what it is. So that seems like a sensible turn. I'm waiting to play Onyxia Hero Power. I need to start using these legendaries. Good, good. More spiders. No Noth. I have a Shadow Word Pain for more Noth. I'm ready. Need to keep that there. That's interesting. Okay, so he's flooding. He's going for it. Please hit the gothic. No, he doesn't hit the gothic. What about you? <clears throat> he's gonna pass. Okay. Let's see what legendary I get first. Millhouse. Lol. All together now, guys. Lol. Let's do it. Okay, so we have a board. And Moger is still alive. Onyxia is pretty powerful. And it's all minions have a 50% chance. He can use the Rune Blade to take that out. Is he going for face now? Nope, he's gonna flesh eating ghoul my ass. That works quite well. Well, you can't do that. That hurts. That potentially hurts. Well, hang on. I have enough room for more cards. Let's check this out first. Am I holding a dragon? I'm not holding a dragon, so there's no point destroying a legendary, but I do get to take out the flesh of the ghoul. Um, what else do I want to take out? I feel like that's fine, actually. Do I dare play Millhouse Monastorm? That seems like just such a bad play, and I'm trying to win this game. You shall pay for your insolence! I can stop him from summoning anything else. You shall pay for your I think I'll do that. Let's fill his board. <clears throat> Don't forget, I still have um, Shadow Word Pain for Noth, and he would have killed one and then played Noth straight away. In fact, actually, killing one of them off and playing Shadow Word Pain might have been really good. So maybe that was a misplay from me. Hmm. Guys, this is now officially troublesome.
This is now officially troublesome. I might have to YOLO with that. Oh, wow, that was lucky. Not gonna lie. Malone. Ren Blackhand. Do I Millhouse? And 17 health. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Prepare to face the mighty Millhouse Let's YOLO. I can't play the Shadow Word Pain on the Lady Blaumer, 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 until uh, I kill off the Sir Zeliac. At the beginning of your turn, freeze a random enemy minion. That's okay. Okay, so he hasn't played any spells, so Millhouse might be alright. I say might. Good, good. He could still have a 1 or 0 mana spell. I'm not sure. He's got one card though, and I'm on 17 health. Can I actually survive? I think I might have to Dark Bomb that. Whoa. Kill that. Kill that. And that could still be vaporized. I can shadow word paint that if I need to. Uh oh. The damned stand ready. Seven health. How do I survive till the next turn? That's okay. I feel like that's still Vaporize. Do I play that or do I play this? I play this because it's cheaper. And I still think that's Vaporize, which is a problem. I need to get rid of that. Oh well, I have to. I need to win on the next turn, and I don't think it's possible. I need to find a way to do 11 damage from hand. Oh god. No, so close. You want it. Not fair. I got it. <gasps> no. Oh. You have been measured. I found what wire target. No. Oh no! We lose our first game as Rafam, but that was so close. Uh, I'm pretty sure there was a way to win that at the end, guys. We tried, but that was a pretty excellent game one. Oh man! I'll be watching the video after it goes live, trying to work out what silly mistakes I made. Make sure you um, feel free to comment as well, guys. This is a ridiculous brawl, and this is the first time I saw Rafam's deck, so I'm sure I made plenty of mistakes. Uh, let me know what the improvements were. Obviously, I'll be watching it. I'll find out myself as well, but discuss it in the comments. Right, we're going to go into game number two with Rafam. Rafam! Versus Hell the 
All right. Come face me, Reform the Supreme Archaeologist. You know, I have to say, um, the battle cry, I guess, of these heroes. Kelthazard's a little bit more scary. I am the Supreme Archaeologist. I will slowly dig at you. Ooh. Not the scariest thing ever. Hello. So, from game one, Explore. we need to upgrade this as soon as possible. We know this. I was so close to winning game one. That's fine. No! A curse upon you, interloper! That's mean. We finally meet. Power overwhelming! That's right. Ooh. Well, power overwhelming. Now I'm going to need to trade into some of his crazy minions later on in the game. But he has like mad scientists and haunted creepers and stuff right now, so I'm not too worried yet. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. This is a problem. I'm gonna have to eat some damage. I've seen this play before. No spoilers, but if you haven't seen my Kel'Thuzad video, guys, uh, make sure you go to the end- Well, after watching this one, go to the end of this video and check out the, uh, the Kel'Thuzad video. It's pretty scary. Okay, so I'm on a countdown now. I can use Lady Nazjar on it. That's... Oh, Earth Elemental is going to be excellent. Right, so I think my turn 5 play is Lady Nazjar. That gets rid of Hygen. Yeah, it almost certainly isn't Lady Nazjar. Okay. And then we can see from there. So basically we're resetting. The power of the tides will consume you. Oh, should I have played Shard of Sulfurus first? I don't know. Hmm, that's not actually the best. You can just take that out. But that does change the dynamic somewhat. I see. Interesting. The problem is, I'm pretty sure... That becomes five cost. I won't get to take that out. But I'll get to remove his three cost minion. In case he's got two frothings in hand, that's a problem. Maybe I should have put two mill houses. But, this then goes whoosh. What have we got? That's not useful. That's not useful at all, actually. I have no totems. So the gamble definitely hasn't paid off. I have got the Shard of Sulfura still. Need to watch out with the card draw. Hmm. Go on, use both of them to take this out. Okay. Hmm. And I've got overload as well. Freeze the blood in your veins. Calm yourself. Do not do this. And that. And that. That looks vaguely sensible. Uses all my mana. Oh, come on. Okay. 
We have legendaries now. Okay, Dr. Boom is good. Dr. Boom is officially good. But... I can Shadow Word Death that. Take this out. And the reason I do that is because if he takes me out with my Exna, that's at 3 health, I can play Dark Bomb and Dr. Boom on the next turn. So that's my reasoning there. <clears throat> Ooh, that's potentially dangerous. Right, the Spectral Gothics are what killed me on g in Game 1. <coughs> so I'm going to be very careful with that. Or am I? Am I YOLOing? We Dark Bomb? We Dr. Boom? Oh, so I've got the Gothic. That's fine, I can power overwhelming it, that's not a problem. I could even do it now. Do I take 4 damage in order to... So that's at the start of my turn. Let's see what at Legendary I get. Chromagus. No, I'm going to save that for a boom bot. Uh, or save it next turn, it's fine. I have another power overwhelming, that's okay. That's okay. That's an okay turn. The Chieftain Scarvash should also blunt him a little bit. Chromagus Chieftain could be a good turn. I've got a huge shot. That's not the greatest, so Chromagus Chieftain power overwhelming is a possible turn for me right now. Okay, I think that's almost certainly what I'm going to do. Is there anything else I could consider? Chromagus. Chieftain. How overwhelming. That's a 4-7. Let's see what happens if I do this. Okay. Okay, well, there we go. So dare I say it, we might be in an okay position right now. This is tough as Rafan. I still feel like Kel'Thuzad, based on my game so far, is ridiculous. Come on, hit the peddler! Oh, he hits Scarvash. It's not the greatest. Two Dark Bombs is okay. Of course I played well. I'm Kel'Thu freaking Zod. Let's get another Legendary. Of course I played well. I'm Kel'Thu freaking Zod. None may steal I can do this. Can't I? And I have Taunt at the end of the turn. <clears throat> which is useful. Hoggers come in useful. Who knew, guys? Now, um... <sighs> Flame Strike is a problem. That is not so much of a problem. Because of Taunt. He's got two mana left. He could resurrect my Exna? Not again. Oh, my, for goodness sake! Seriously, people. Stop it. You guys need to stop. Entomb. <laughs> I could just go Entomb. That'd be funny. Deathwing! I have Deathwing! Okay. Yes, we win our second game, so that, thankfully, means we don't have two losses with Rafam. So, uh, well, I guess that's a bit of a spoiler alert if you haven't watched the other video yet. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed the videos today. At the end of this one is a link to the Kel'Thuzad video. Watch both of them, please. Check them out. Really good fun, and you get to see what cards are in both decks as well. Make sure you like and subscribe on the videos as well. Always helps a lot. And I will see you guys next week for more Hearthstone Tavern Brawl action. In the meantime, I'm off to Insomnia I-57. Take care.